Hello and welcome back to another instructional video brought to you by the masterminds of Cravion. So this is just a quick video to hopefully save somebody some time out there. Uh, I was recording an instructional video the other day and what ended up happening was I was using my favorite uh, desktop recording software Camtasia Studio. I still have version 7.1 and uh, I recently upgraded my laptop to a new snazzy version uh, that includes state-of-the-art graphics card you now so I can uh, get some of my games to run uh, in optimal resolution <clears throat> part of the problem was that when you uh, fired up Camtasia Studio the preview window was black and I looked around uh, and of course you know, the first first thing you'd want to do is see uh, Camtasia Studio. Uh, I, I mean, I did. Uh, I searched around for a couple of different things. That, I mean, a new I very quickly determined that it was hardware acceleration that was uh, to blame, uh, and there was a, a couple of different YouTube videos, things like that, showing you different uh, situations within the uh, system. Um, and the problem was that all these solutions had one thing in common which was basically they disabled the video card and so any optimization that you were doing uh, or any uh, hardware acceleration that worked with other apps didn't work with Camtasia Studio. Now <clears throat> a lot of apps such as uh, Microsoft Office etc uh, actually have configuration settings that allows you, even if you have to do it through the registry, it does allow you to turn off hardware acceleration. Camtasia Studio, at least in version 7.1, does not have that option, and so I was left to try and find the solution myself. Uh, like I said, uh, lots of uh, quick options that said, you know, come down to your advanced display settings, blah blah blah, go to adapter properties and then basically what they wanted you to do was uh, essentially come and disable your driver um, and like I said that disables it for everything I just wanted to have Camtasia Studio not use hardware acceleration now as you can see I have an NVIDIA GeForce GTX 980M video card and so it really you know, with uh, 8 gigs of video RAM, I'd, I'd hate to not use that. So I thought, well, there's got to be a solution to this. Couldn't find the settings anywhere in Windows 10. Uh, there's hardware acceleration settings in Windows 7 that's accessible. In Windows 10, I could not find it. So I resorted to the control panel. So in your uh, little status window here, go to your open NVIDIA control panel and the beautiful thing here is uh, once you're in your NVIDIA control panel uh, you select your manage 3D settings over here and then simply go ahead you'll see if you check in your drop down list I don't see Camtasia Studio in here any, anywhere so I'll go ahead and add beautifully it allows you you know to select something that you've gotten recently uh, and the recorder works just fine with acceleration it's studio in the preview that does not so I add uh, studio there uh, and then it's just a matter of uh, changing your settings and you can turn it off everywhere global settings off uh, so that will just leave the anti-aliasing where it is, this will off, uh, and we don't want it to use any GPUs, and I want to use that as slow as possible, and I'll set this to a f the monitor technology to a fixed refresh, oops, too much, and turn this one off, I hate how it refreshes like that. Turn this one to compatibility performance. Go the next one. Uh, we'll probably just leave that. And I'll set that to adaptive. I don't want to do global settings because if the global settings change, then it might mess up the whole thing. 
So go here. And what I want to do is I want texture filtering to be high performance. Okay. Texture filtering, I'll turn that off. Use bubble setting, turn that off. Turn that off. Vertical sync, we turn that off. And here we'll just lock it into one. And then I'll apply this. screen jumps a little bit and now when I go back and fire up my Camtasia Studio and I go back into my project uh, let's see recent projects and there you go I've got a preview window that's now working so hope that solves the problem for some people and at least save somebody some time. It took me a couple hours to get that squared away. So enjoy. Later.